Karen and I'm a yarn addict and this is my channel and on here I do love to talk about yarn and let me get back there. <laughs> I also when I buy yarn love to show y'all the yarn I love to just talk about yarn everything there is about it um I plan on I did a couple of weeks ago I started a uh three-part series on cotton yarn because that is my favorite yarn in the world is all kind of cotton and so now I'm gonna start another one and I'm not sure if I'm gonna do acrylic first or wool yarns first I'm afraid if I get too far into all the different <laughs> types of wool there is as far as as the different brands of sheep and how their wool's different from all the others, I may get too far down that rabbit hole. <laughs> it may take me a while to get out. So we may go with acrylic first, but that's going to probably take me some time into next week before I'm able to do that. Uh, I also love to crochet. So, uh, and here lately, I know my crocheting has not been up to par. I have not crocheted very much. If y'all can see it hanging right there up at the top, I had to hang my wind spinner on my eagle's wing up there. <laughs> I did do that. I made it a little longer than I anticipated. I was thinking it was going to draw up more. And I didn't realize the more that I added on to it, the more it was stretching out. So I did it with a uh, three-weight cotton, I believe it was. It's 100% cotton, and it was a universal yarns cotton. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have the uh, ball band here. I was thinking I might have it around, but uh, I didn't see it, so... The other project I'm working on as far as crocheting, my daughter wanted a blanket and she wanted one that would just cover her up while she was on her sofa watching TV. And um, I asked her what kind and she said, I don't care, something with a lot of colors in it. So I said, well, if you want me to do stripes with colors? And she said, just put any color you have, just add color to it so I started it <laughs> and now this blanket is pretty wide or long or whatever way <laughs> I'm not sure which way I'm doing it but these are the colors I've gotten on it so far uh I have more of this yellow and this uh lavender i think is the name and this coral color than any of the of others i've got some of the blues i've got some more of this darker blue i'm not sure i've got some more of this yarn coming but it's a discontinued yarn and i forgot to put i can grab the bag right quick <laughs> y'all sorry y'all know i'm always just but this is, whew, this thing's about to get loose on me here. Uh, this is a Cascade yarn, and the name of it is Avalon. And uh, this is a 50% cotton, 50% acrylic blend. There's 175 uh, yards in each hank. And it's a medium number four. It's machine washable and dryable. And I hate it so bad that this is discontinued because I love this yarn. I, I've told y'all before, a lot of four weights I don't work with. But this is a four weight and I love it. Of course, I do use four weights for blankets. So being that it's a cotton blend, that's what I decided to make her blanket from. And they don't have the colors on here color of this uh, coral color is Georgia peach. I remember that one. <laughs> but I do, I found a few shops around the U.S. that still carry some of this yarn. I have some left over evidently for whatever reasons. 
And I have some more coming so that I can order <clears throat> some more. When I put this greenish looking color on here, she saw it the other day and she was like, oh, I love that color. <laughs> and that color happens to not be one of the Avalon colors. It's 100% cotton. If y'all remember a few weeks or maybe a month or so ago, I showed y'all some yarn that I had purchased and it was 100% organic cotton from Virginia. And this green looking is supposed to be, the name of it was daffodil, but it didn't look like daffodils to me. <laughs> but anyway, so I did find some green in the Avalon. So I'm going to put uh, some more green into it. One section, one I think it's six rows each of my stripes that I'm doing. It takes almost a whole hank of yarn. The 170 is probably about 150 yards are in each stripe. So uh, I just decided to go on and do it that way. But I have some more yarn that I haven't been able to show y'all. I've shown it on my lives. And I'm not sure I've got all that I've bought here lately, but I did want to show y'all part of it so that I could let y'all see some of the yarn, beautiful yarn, because one thing I really wanted to share with y'all was this True Boo. And I know True Boo's been out for a while, but I've got two of the new colors. We've decided nobody in the live Monday night had ever seen this color. This color is called Rose. And I'm not sure at what point in time it came out, but I've just overlooked this color throughout the summer or whether it just came out for fall. I'm not sure because they are coming out with some new colors just spotted here and there with different things. The True Boo is 100% bamboo. It's rayon from bamboo. It's machine washable and lay flat to dry, and there's 241 yards in each skein, and it is a uh, line brand yarn, and it is a light uh, number three, and I love this True Boo yarn. I love it, and when I saw this color and this other color here, this is called Mulberry. Look how pretty that purple. And this does have a beautiful shine. All of the True Boo does. And um, I saw these two and I thought, hmm, I got to get those <laughs> and see what I can do with them. But I think there's another couple of colors. I got these from Line Brand. So if y'all go over there and check out their True Boo, because Lime Brand's been having a lot of great sales here lately. And if y'all aren't signed up to get the uh, notifications from Lime Brand, y'all need to go over to their site and sign up to get their emails about it. And I'm not affiliated in no way with any yarn company. I just think the deals they've been having have been great deals. Because they've been having like 30 and 35% off a lot of their yarn. And I know I got that at least 30% off the original price. And then from Michael's, I got some of this cream cotton. And they've had this yarn. It's the loops and threads uh, for a while. And during the summer or last spring, they were in big balls. And now they've come out with them in these skeins. And I'm not sure if there's a lot of difference in the uh, yardage because I didn't go back and look. I've got some of the balls, <laughs> but these are a, just a second, let me read this. There's 324 yards, and they are number four. That's what I thought. And it is machine washable, lay flat to dry, or hand wash. Excuse me, I thought that was, I'm sorry hand wash and lay flat to dry. The color here I've got is light gray, and this is made out of 87% cotton and 13% nylon. And this nylon in here makes this so soft, y'all, but that's a beautiful light gray color is what it is. 
And then I got this other color, and I'm not going to take it out. I hope y'all can see it without I had to. Well, that's not, I just didn't ever open this bag. I thought I'd taped it back there. But the color is Flamingo. Isn't that gorgeous? It's kind of a, between a pink and a peach color. I just thought it was so pretty. I just love it. I got three of these and three of these. And I'm going to probably be, my kids have decided they all want blankets. Again, it's been a couple of years since I've made them all one. So that's my youngest daughter is the first one I showed y'all. Then I did find, like I said, some of this Avalon yarn around. And this is the Avalon Multi. And that is, it's Multi Blue is the name of the color. And that's just a beautiful yarn. Beautiful, y'all. Uh, it's the same as what I told you on the others, 175 yards and a medium number four. And they had this beautiful, I looked at this because I wasn't sure if it was just a nar, uh, nar, <laughs> dark navy <laughs> or if it, what color it was. The color name is medieval blue, but it is, it's a navy, but it's not a, just a dark, dark navy. It's a beautiful blue. I hope y'all can see that. But I wanted to jump on here today and show y'all some of the stuff I had been getting in my blanket that I've been working on. Uh, I just had those things and uh, I thought, Karen, you've got to get on and do a video. And I hate it that I went off to Fort Worth last week. <laughs> and so I, those of you that haven't heard, uh, I did with Mr. Knott. My husband's Mr. Knott because he is not a yarn addict, he says. <laughs> I flew out to Fort Worth with him and we picked up a truck, a tractor trailer truck, big truck, and drove it back uh, home <laughs> to a friend of ours that uh, has a grading equipment moving company. So, uh I don't believe I told y'all, I do have a Facebook group, and I hope if you're on Facebook, if you have Facebook, and haven't joined my Facebook group, I would love for you to, and I also have Instagram and Twitter, and they're all linked below down in the description box. I am having my make-along, uh, it will run until the 10th of October, and to join, all you have to do is make anything with cotton or a cotton blend, and then post a picture either in my Facebook group, on Instagram, or email me, and use the hashtag when posting it to one of the social medias, and the hashtag is a yarn addict loves cotton, do ye? And I'll put it in the description box down below. So if any of y'all that haven't joined in that want to, I would love for you to. We're getting so many great things uh, people have posted. If you're doing, like, you can do washcloths or, like, dishcloths, washcloths. There has to be three of them. And a dishcloth, either a dish towel and then a dishcloth or a pot holder or something else to go with it. So you've got at least a bigger item and then the smaller item, and that's fine. And then anything else you want to make. So, <laughs> But uh, I'd appreciate if you like this video to give me a thumbs up, and I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel. And oh yeah, I about forgot, I did hit 2,400, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> the other night I said it on my live and two or three people in a few minutes said congratulations. And I was like, why are y'all congratulating me? <laughs> I didn't even think about the 24. Because it's y'all. It's all y'all. It's not me that I <laughs> So I appreciate all of y'all, all of my subscribers. And probably next week I will be having a giveaway to celebrate that. I've been, I usually don't do giveaways for any reason other than I just want to do a giveaway, so now I've got a reason to celebrate. So, 
next week we'll more than likely, if nothing happens, we'll have a giveaway celebrating Region 2400. But I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, did I tell y'all to go down below and comment? <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But please, if you can, go down and leave me a comment because I love reading y'all's comments. But then y'all know what you gotta do. Keep coming back because I'm gonna be here. And y'all know it. I love you all.